touch me and you'll lose the hand. N no, no, back off. Thank you. What is it going to take to get you out of bed? If you would just tell me, I would do it. You bought me from the store to wake you up. What more do you want me to do? Am I gonna have to throw some breadcrumbs or something on the ground so you peck at them like a rooster to get you out of bed? Am I gonna have to throw a doggy treat or something so that you can do like a trick getting out of bed? Tell me! You're stressing me out. We go through this pretty much every morning. Uh, uh, you disgust me. You really do. You are what society's problems are right now. No zest for life. Look at yourself. You're just laying there. You just have no oomph to get out of bed. It's so sad. You probably don't have a life, which is why you don't want to get out of bed just about every morning. Well, too bad for you. I don't understand the feeling. <laughs> I have money, fame, women. Oh yeah, I've got it all. All from simply just waking up people in the morning. I am a multi-billionaire. Hey, uh, is that a camera pointed at me? Are you seriously using your nearly $500 camera to film a clock? Do you know how pathetic that is? Well, answer me! No, oh, of course you're not going to answer me. You're still asleep. No matter how much I talk, no matter how much I beep, you're still going to sleep. But you know, this is my job. I have to keep going. I have to keep trying to wake you up. There is no time for the snooze button in my schedule. Do you know how hard it is to get Rosie O'Donnell out of her bed? It's even harder than waking you up. You just make my job a lot harder by stalling for time. Well, I don't know if you heard my reasoning or not, but it's time for you to get up now. Hey! Yes, you! Alright, that's it. Time for the dive bomb. Oh, no! Ah! Yeah! Right in the eyeball!